Hey guys, welcome back. Today is going to be something a little different. We're going to take a look at uh, uniforms and some of the things that you might want to look out for when it comes to some of these uniforms. Uh, interesting. I'm learning a lot here. Let's take a look. Okay guys, so there's many different types of scrubs that you can get. Um, the key thing is what's going to matter most for you because of your situation. And because I'm a dude, I got the male version of scrubs here, but at the same time, I got a couple of the best ones that I could find. So I've got the Dickies brand, and then over there, I've got um, the Carhartt brand. Carhartt. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these and see what I like, what I don't like about them. So some of the features on modern day scrubs is definitely some stretchy material. You're going to notice this little ring. And this little ring right here is for your badge. So it's not pulling on your neckline like it is in sometimes. But uh, one of the things I always take a notice of is how it shows wrinkles. And these are both black fabric. You can see that they both show wrinkles quite easily. A different type of fabric though. Look at the pattern on the Dickies versus the Carhartt. This is kind of like a kind of like a spandex stretch. This one here is more of a breathable material. I, I like how the neckline comes down to a, a junction on this one. Uh, this is a spot where a lot of scrubs tend to break and here it's got the stretchy material which usually stretches too much Here's the traditional scrub neckline and it comes down to a junction which is reinforced very nice um, what are the things I've noticed about the Carhartt you go from this material right here down to this material which it is a dual layer so you can see on the inside is this breathable material and under the arms and Look here on the back, kind of like a fishing shirts. So when you're doing stuff around, uh, the hot air will waft out of these vents, adds to the breathability. And on the Dickies, there is no such features, but the material is different. And this actually looks like it's also a wicking material, but it looks very breathable. So you might not have to do that. Um, I do like this little pocket up here on the arm. This one also has a pocket, but it's not going to be all that useful because there's no retention. It's just an open aired pocket. But down here, there's some redemption because the Carhartt has got a large uh, breast pocket. And then notice it's got the pen holder and a small pocket, whereas the Dickies just has one large breast pocket and it's open but it is reinforced up here at the top for durability it's gonna be nice in my opinion I think uh, the Dickies is a little bit nicer than the Carhartt in some ways but this Carhartt is a nice scrub shirt I bet you this one is much more breathable and probably maybe a little bit nicer for some of the stuff that we do but uh, yeah and then once you choose your shirt then you can choose your various types of pants. And I have to admit, uh, the Dickies pants are quite nice. They have, um, let's see, let's see if I can show you guys. There's some loops on the leg and there's uh, enclosed leg pockets, YKK zippers. Pretty nice. Nice loose cut down by the by the feet. Pockets do have extra reinforcing in the corner. And here's one of the cool things that I discovered about these ones. Let's see, let me undo it. Okay. So because these are scrub pants, there's gonna be a drawstring in them. But notice right up here, see this little stitch? So that stitch holds your drawstring in the waistline so it will never fall out, which is the problem with some others. 
but the, the material is really nice and light. Super comfortable. I dig it. Open drop pockets. And then there's some other pockets further down. But uh, and then on top of those, you got the various types of jackets. And also, I have to say, I'm really digging the Dickies jacket. So it's got a uh, slightly tapering cuff right there. One sealed breast pocket with YKK zippers. Uh, really nice neckline. And this one here also has the dual layer uh, wicking material. Super nice. I dig those jackets. So I'm thinking the entire setup, the pants, the shirt, the jacket. I put my logo right up here. What do you think? I think they're nice looking scrubs. Definitely uh, leagues ahead of where it was when I got started as a biomed. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. I'm, uh, I'm looking to maybe start a new line of shirts. Um, instead of using the uh, traditional material and the red hat shirts, I'm thinking maybe uh, I'll switch over to the black and tan uh, Dickies scrubs. What do you think? Let me know. Thanks for watching, guys.